This is a quick review of my Garmin Forerunner 245 Music Sports Watch. It's actually a running watch. I bought this about a year ago and I've been using it every single day, practically every single day since I got it. And I do cycling, running, and hiking with it. It is a running watch, but what you may not know is it also works for cycling and pretty much any sport. There's a lot of programmed in activities. So the way you start it is simply press this red button, which is really handy. And then you can do run, bike, walk, hike, pool swimming, strength, and there's even more you can program into here using the app or the, the watch itself. But these are the ones that I use mostly, especially those top four. So it, the real nice thing about it is it's really fast to find a satellite. Like I had an older running watch and it sometimes took quite a while to find those connections, but this one always finds it within just a, um, you know, 20 seconds, 15 seconds, something like that. And what I found is if it doesn't, even if it, I just do like this and then I hit go again, this red bar, by the way, is indicating when it's found its satellites. If I just hit go, I've never had a problem with it that even before it finds it. So a lot of times I'll just go, I'll triple click really. I'll just from the home page one, two, and then hit it again for the third one. I'm not going to do it now. And that works just fine. It'll record my, my uh, activity. No issue has a lot of information. And these are all customizable screens, by the way. And within them, you can also see more data. It's like your time, your distance, your heart rate. I have mine set up for, um, music and the time within the running. So there's a lot of customizations in terms of the activities you do and, and what data you get to see, but it also works as a great normal watch. So I, like I said, I don't only use this for running and activities. I just wear this all day, every day. I don't sleep with it, although you can, and you can collect even more data. I just don't find it comfortable or any watch to be comfortable while sleeping. I do shower with it most of the time because I just don't think about taking it off and I've never had an issue with it in terms of uh, in terms of water getting into it or anything like that. So I've also swam with it with no issues. I also work a lot in my garage and I haven't had any issues with the screen getting scratched or really, I mean, any wear or tear at all in one full year of using it. Here's some of the apps that I use. I use the weather app quite often just to see what the weather is. I, of course it shows my overall health status and I can get into that, like my heart rate, my stress, what they call the body battery, which I think is kind of cool. Then my day, some, some of the stats about my day are here. Um, notifications that are synced with my phone. The music is pretty nice. Now this is the 245 music edition. There's also a 245 non-music edition, but this is nice. And the reason that I like this actually more than some other watches is because you do not need to be connected to your phone. You could just leave your phone. This does not have data um, or anything like that. It doesn't have any kind of cellular data. It simply has data on board and you don't even need a special app to access it. You can simply plug this into a USB, which it has a, a special connector here, then goes into normal USB on your computer side. And you can simply load in your MP3 files you want, which is what I do. I, I put in podcasts or I put in uh, long play music. This does not have a touch screen, by the way, which I actually like because there's just nothing to worry about. With regard to that, it uses these five buttons here, which is pretty nice. They're very solid, very uh, handy. Um, then my last, no, not my last screen, but the next screen is my last activity. And you can customize what screens. You can make it one screen, two screens, as many as you want. Next, I have a, an app called QR Wallet, which is really cool. It's an app I got from their app store. And basically, it's a QR code that I can let people scan. So if somebody says, um, you can put your contact in this case right now. I have loaded a uh, bicycle tour that I host so I can ask, uh, if somebody asks me about the tour, I can just go to this app with a few clicks. They can bring out their phone, they can scan it and it'll go straight to this, uh, this page and then they can save that. And then I have a flashlight app, which I haven't been using too much lately, but you can change, uh, colors and use this at night to, to navigate your room. Maybe so I'll push the back button, then the down, and now I'm back to my home screen. Another thing you can highly customize is the watch face. So I have some different time zones because I work with uh, people in different time zones. Of course, my local time and I have the day and the date as well as the battery, the battery capacity or the battery um, charge level. So another thing though, I guess about that is the batteries. So for me, I typically charge this every five days and that's with mixed use. That's uh, maybe a run here or there, or bike ride here and there throughout the week. Um, just uh, occasional GPS use. By the way, the GPS is what seems to use the battery the most. 
but um, yeah, about five days, maybe six if I stretch it. I like to charge it when it gets down to around 10% or under and um, yeah that's pretty good for me of course always more is better so maybe in the future we can get more charge but i mean for the capability you get i don't mind just sticking it onto the charger uh, every five days or so and it does charge pretty fast um, I, I don't know exactly but i would say in less than an hour i'll have this thing fully charged so so that's about it um, one more thing i guess i can mention is i was planning this has been one year i've owned this i think approximately uh, I was planning to buy a new one now. I could it, after one year, I was going to upgrade to a newer model or um, or a, a maybe a higher level model. But actually, this is totally fulfilling my needs, and I'm going to keep it at least for another year. The other thing is, you can easily take the band off, but I haven't needed to. I thought when I got it, I might change it or customize it, but I actually like it just fine as it is. I guess the one thing that I could slightly say could be improved is when you go to put it on on the wrist, it can be. Uh, a little confusing as to which tightness it should be. So I wear it every day. I can feel that's a, that's that's what I call my running tightness. So when I run, I want it a bit tighter. But my everyday tightness will be one less than that. Oops, I don't think I got it. Uh, what would be nice is if there was some kind of uh, colored indicators or some kind of numbers so that you could um, always go to the same one. So every day you wanted the same tightness. Sometimes I put it on the first time, like you said you did a minute ago, and I go too tight, and then I have to back it off again. So just one tiny thing. But I've never seen that. I don't know if that exists on other watches either, but just an idea from my side. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.